Hey guys, this is Tammy Van Hollander. This is day nine of teleplay therapy. So today I want to get a little bit real and thinking that many of my colleagues can relate that things have been feeling pretty stressful. Doing the teleplay therapy with kids and the different interventions has been going really well, and they have been giving me inspiration and joy and motivation, but there are so many other things that are exhausting, many of us. I've been hearing other clinicians say as well that we are First, we're getting all the paperwork, all new releases, trying to get those things together. We're trying to get the proper things in place to have an online playroom. And what is it like at home? What do we need to do to have a playroom? So I'm in a space now that the internet is not great and um, it's very cold in here. So this is kind of my complaining session for uh, today, um, trying to make sure that my sound machine works. And there are so many things that we have to put in place before doing these teleplay therapy sessions. So besides for getting the proper consents and sending an email in terms of what are some of the suggested activities that we need to do each day, we then have a lot of other things that we need to check off the list. And for those of you that are organizationally challenged, like myself, I am finding that there are absolutely not enough hours in the day, and I'm getting so much less accomplished than I got before we did the social distancing, and now there is a stay-at-home order, so that's why I am not in my playroom anymore, respecting the stay-at-home order here in Pennsylvania. So a couple things that I've made a list of, of things that we need to do because we just lose track of time. I lost track of what day of this video it is, what day of the week it is. So losing track of time, it's really easy to lose track of what clients we have on each day because many of the clients who, although they're continuing to see us virtually, they don't really know what each week is going to entail. So it's been hard to have the same time each week for them as well as the same time each week for us, which makes it a little bit tricky. Um, it's really hard to get into a groove of doing this and then being on top of our notes and on top of our paperwork. Uh, so that's another one. I made a little bit of a list being able to let my family know when am I in session, putting up a do not disturb sign, doing um, having a sound machine so there really is some quiet. So um, we're really able to provide that confidentiality to our clients. Um, I can't stress enough about not getting stressed about being kind to ourselves and being flexible that there are going to be many times when our internet's going to fail and things are going to get glitchy and we're going to lose a client and then they're going to have to call back. And sure, it's a little bit of a pain, but we're all learning the system and this is just a time where we have to be so patient with one another and I think most importantly how are we really patient with ourselves so for example Neil King who you've met and you guys will be hearing more about he's like do blocks do blocks to help you understand of your schedule so originally I did blocks and I knew 8 o'clock I had a Zoom session, 9 o'clock I had a Zoom session, 10 o'clock I was going to shower and have breakfast, 11 o'clock I planned on mailing out greatness sticks and books for orders that I'm a little late on getting out, but a doctor called and I had to deal with two different um, work phone calls. So then that messed up that square so I didn't have time to do notes. So I am trying very hard to make lists and to be organized and um, it's really a struggle. So 
we're all needing to figure out what are the things that we need to do. But for those of us that are organizationally challenged, it's really hard. And it really makes me think a lot about our clients, our clients who are organizationally challenged. And our clients, there are a lot of kids, especially teenagers right now, who basically are just given homework assignments and they're not doing classes online and if they don't have that structure and they don't have that time management they're really falling through the cracks so I can see that it's hard enough for me but how hard is it for some of the kids that we're working with so although I said that I would end with books I um these are are these the ones nope these aren't even the right ones I'm going to end with some of Todd Parr's cards because lately things don't always have to be rainbows and unicorns. I've been feeling annoyed. I've been feeling cranky. It's a rainy day. I need my fresh air. I need my nature. I'm worried. I'm worried about the world. I'm worried about so many children who are in need right now who are really suffering and are not getting the resources that they need. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling nervous. So my goal for this week in terms of resetting is what do I need to feel safe? I'm proud of so much. I'm proud of everybody for all the hard work that they're doing and for people taking the social distancing really seriously and that we're all doing what we need to do. And we just need to be brave. So not a lot of interventions today, but I just wanted to be real that this is tough and um, we all need to share it with each other and recognize these times are tough. Tomorrow, though, I am going to be doing greatness sticks. Many of you know them, so we're going to do greatness sticks for teleplay therapy. Take care.